And uh, David, yeah, it's, it's an honor to be able to speak with you. You probably know I'm a big fan of you and your work. Uh, but well, in, it's a real pleasure to talk to you for the first time, Mike. It's, it's to be a first with Alex, uh, meeting Alex in a few days. So, yeah, it's good we all come together because this is what we need to do. Absolutely. And, uh, y you know, I've read all your books and I've, I've watched your presentations. And in the context of Bilderberg, here's, here's my opening question for you on this. You know, you, you talk about the nature of reality. You talk about the interaction between consciousness and reality. When we look at Bilderbergers, they are, in essence, engineers of illusion. They're trying to fabricate a reality that the people then must exist in, like in the Matrix. So I'd like you to speak to that role of, of the Bilderberg members of being sort of engineers of illusion and how we can see through that illusion and awaken to reality. I know. Is, um, uh, a, an area that, you know, I think everyone in the, in the area of alternative media and, and people looking for answers to what's going on in the world, we, we really do need to get this deep and deeper to understand the, the true nature of what is going on. Because if we stay only in the realm of the five senses, then uh, we're staying on the movie screen. We're not actually exploring where the, the movie's coming from. And if you go deep, deep in the rabbit hole, you're looking at um, entities, I'll, I'll call it a force, which is talked about using different names all over the world in all the ancient cultures, and they manipulated uh, human genetics uh, in total and specifically manipulated human genetics to create particular hybrid bloodlines, which are representing this force in our reality. We call these bloodlines the Illuminati families. They're the ones that sit on top the uh, the banking system, the, uh, the the governments, the the corporations, uh, and all the rest of it. So what you're looking at is these rich and powerful uh, people, so-called, they are representing this hidden force. In their rituals, they are interacting with this force. This is what Satanism is. And so they understand that what we are living in is not a physical reality. That's the illusion. It is a holographic reality, illusory reality. And if you look at how holograms, you know, simple holograms you buy in the shops are made, the basic uh, information uh, that, that creates the hologram is not what you see as a, an apparently three-dimensional image. It's actually information on a waveform print. And then you fire a laser at the waveform print, which looks just like a fingerprint, really, when you see them in close-up. And suddenly, that laser activates information that gives the illusion of a three-dimensional figure or image, whatever the uh, holographic uh, film is, is, has been taken off. And the best of them can look as solid as you and me. Now, but you see, the hologram only exists because of the information on the print. And the nature of what the hologram is, whether it's a person or a, or a box or a ball or whatever, is dictated by the information on the waveform print. So they know, because this is how our reality works, that what we think of as the physical world is just a holographic projection from information fields, waveform information fields beyond the frequency range of human sight. But we can feel it. We feel this energy all the time. Oh, got good vibes. Oh, got bad vibes. All the rest of it. And so it's at that level, Mike, that they're manipulating our reality. They know that well, what's the point in manipulating the hologram? The hologram is just a projection of something else. It's the something else they want to manipulate. Right. And, 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 and therefore they do these well, endless rituals, and there are, a lot of them are, are, are absolutely in public sight, like the pomp and ceremony of the, of, of the royalty in Britain, you know, all the, all the, uh, the marching soldiers and, and royal rituals and all this stuff. These are all um, manipulating energy. And, and when you get deeper into it, you, you realize that, that, that they've created basically a constant ritual that we call human life, in which if they can manipulate us, for instance, to feel fear, to feel anxiety, uh, uh, to, to feel stress, anger, and uh, frustration, then that generates an energy.
energy because everything's energy and you are pouring that energy into the earth's uh, energy field magnetic field and that is affecting the field in its in its entirety because you know you've only got to see um what they found when um you had the, the 9-11 attacks and oh yeah they were feeding off all that fear that are, that are picking up changes in the earth's uh, energy field earth's magnetic field the spike at the time of the uh, attacks when the public became globally aware of it was absolutely fantastic and that was caused by the human collective emotional reaction to those attacks now this is what they're manipulating and this is why they like i say they'll do they'll do their ritual which is what this bilderberg uh, thing is all about so what um the long-term story of this is is that over a vast amount of what we call time these entities hidden from human sight outside of the human visual range through their um network of, of hybrid uh, families in this reality have been changing our planet, changing the reality, changing the atmosphere, uh, uh, changing it um, genetically in the ways I was just talking about. The GMO is this what it's all about. Right. Remember, it's not just GMO uh, of human beings and GMO food. Uh, it's, it's, it's the genetic modification of the entire natural world. They're having genetically modified grass and lawns now. They're bringing in everything. They want to genetically modify everything because um, the atmosphere and the planet that these entities can stand and therefore can can interact with as they can't now is very different to the one we that, that, that is good for humans. And that's what we're seeing. And this is why there is no, when you understand this, this is why there is no contradiction between these people who are manipulating events in the world to uh, destroy it from a human point of view, uh, while at the same time they appear to be living in it. Well, why would they destroy their own world? Well, they're not like us. That's the point. And the key um, that really connects Bilderberg here and Google um, is transhumanism, which is not transhumanism at all. It's dehumanism. It's dehumanization. The more that you can uh, turn someone from a consciousness into a machine, which is like a computer, it can have the power of thought, uh, the power of decision making, but it's not actually conscious in the greater human sense. The more you can turn them into machines and fuse them with the machines, the more power you have over them and the less power they have because their energetic power, their power of consciousness is constantly being eroded by the the, uh, the machines, the, the technology that they're being fused with. So you look at Google and Google is absolutely there and has been from the start to lead this fusing of technology with humans. You, you, you know, you, you, I have this thing I call the totalitarian tiptoe where, you know, you start at A and you know you're going to Z and you go in steps because you don't want to go too big or people might say what's going on. Many anthropologists and archaeologists believe that before man even discovered uh, the power to harness and use fire, we were involved in agrarian activities. That is, taking the seeds of plants and then replanting them to produce more. The very foundation of our modern civilization and human culture is centered around the planting and cultivation of edible plants, fruits, vegetables, nuts, you name it. And the globalists have been going after gardening. They've been harassing people that have gardens in their front yards or their backyards. They've called for licenses for people to have gardens because you can't trust prisoners in the police state America to be able to grow their own food. That's why I've come to the realization that we need to become self-sufficient. You need to be informed. You need to have the Second Amendment to protect yourself. You need to be politically active to wake up others. You need to filter your water. But you also need to plant a garden. Even if you live in an apartment, you can do this. If you live in the countryside, obviously you can do it on a grand scale. 
There are so many green belts in areas uh, that humans don't even visit uh, nearby cities and in suburbs where people are now more and more planting their own little private gardens and meadows and off the side of the road. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a revolutionary act to unplug from the television, to unplug from the computer and all the globalist propaganda, and to go out in your backyard or your front yard or planters at your apartment or on the roof of the building where you live and to plant a garden. Here are some of the amazing deals at InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. The Survival Seed Vault by My Patriot Supply features only the finest survival heirloom seeds for a robust and hardy garden, even in the toughest of times. The ARC All-in-One Seed Kit contains 70 varieties of 50,000 seeds of fruits, vegetables, medicinal, and culinary herbs. All ARC seeds are heirloom. Each type is labeled and sealed separately for ease of use and longevity. The Deluxe Emergency Seed Bank combines three of Emergency Seed Bank's top sellers, the Family Survival Emergency Seed Bank, the Medicinal Herb Seeds Pack, and the Culinary Herb Seeds Pack. We also have starter varieties of the deluxe seed packages for fruit, salad, salsa, peppers, and medicinal herbs and more. Go to the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. A little seed can grow a huge tree that produces fruit for up to 50 years. We have the best life bombs. That's what these are. We have the best weapons against death out there at the lowest prices waiting for you to lovingly plant them and lovingly grow them and lovingly eat them and share them with others. We will strike back against the New World Order and this is only one more initiative in our fight against them. So please join us at InfoWarsShop.com or you can link through at InfoWars.com at the InfoWars Seed Center. All right, continuing our interview with David Icke from DavidIcke.com. This is Mike Adams filling in for Alex, who is in the UK at the Bilderberg Conference, which begins later this week. Now, in the last segment, David gave us a bewildering tour of a lot of fascinating concepts, including the actual terraforming of the planet and some unseen forces that are at work. And continuing, continuing with that, David, I wanted to ask you, you know, people are fed up with their food being genetically engineered, but they don't yet realize how their reality is being engineered, how their fears are being engineered. I mean, so much of what we get from the government and these people at the Bilderberg Conference is what I would call fear engineering. You spoke to that a little bit in the last segment. Can you uh, give us a little more explanation of why fear is such a crucial element to their global domination plan? the Google agenda with the, um, the transhumanism and, and, and what have you. And um, I just want to throw in one more quick thing just to, to connect all this with, with Bilderberg. Bilderberg, its job is to basically sell and bring into public policy uh, this, de this uh, well, yes, dehumanization uh, agenda. So in, in the Bilderberg meetings, uh, the interface with the, the, the Google event that's been going on, and of course Eric Schmidt, the Google uh, chairman, will, uh, executive chairman, will be at the Bilderberg meeting, according to the, the, the list that's come out. Uh, their job is then to push that through the politicians there and the administrators and, 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 and what have you in to, to public uh, policy. And it's interesting that uh, the head of DARPA, this sinister, deeply, deeply sinister technological development arm of, um, of the Pentagon that's, that's really uh, on a military level uh, running this whole transhumanist agenda and developing the technology to push it on, was Regina Duggan. Regina Duggan left DARPA and became a executive of Google. And this very week, Mike, she was, um, as also she is an executive of Motorola, she was um, expounding the benefits of replacing passwords with a what, electronic tattoo, which is one step only from an under-the-skin microchip. Mm -hmm. So this is how all these things are uh, 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 running through. And what they use, as you uh, point out, is fear. Fear um, has many, many 
levels and connotations for this whole story. But one of them is when you get people in fear, they will look outside of themselves for someone or something to protect them from what they've been manipulated to fear. This is why all the way through history, these bloodlines have used the bogeyman, the big bad monsters come in and all the rest of it to frighten people into giving their power away. And we must stop being frightened of, of, of all the fake uh, bogeys and threats that they're um, throwing at us. And we can only really do that, again, when we start to understand the nature of our own reality. You know, while we, when we look in the mirror and we think of ourselves as Charlie Smith or Ethel Jones, um, little me, then of course you're going to look for all these powerful people to save us and all that rest of it. When you realize that Ethel Jones and Charlie Smith is just an experience, it's just a name for an experience. What we are is not our body or our name. It is that consciousness, the infinite right. awareness that we all are, always have been and always will be. Got about 30 it's seconds, David. Animating that body. That's the true self. And if you look at it, Mike, society has been set up to, to get people to have their point of attention, the point at which they observe everything, to the five senses, to the body level of reality. Our viewers have demanded it, so now you're gonna get it. More pro Second Amendment gun shows in the month of June. What we've learned is you cannot hide behind an eye beam when there's a 50 cal present. Brothers in Arms, 50 cal ammo review, and more. Coming in the month of June to the Info War. We are into the third hour, continuing our interview with David Icke on the nature of reality and how reality is manipulated by global controllers to put you into a state of constant fear so that you need to beg for authority to tell you what to do, or at least that's, that's part of how it works. And it reminds me, David, this, this is our last segment with you, and then Gerald Salente uh, takes over after this segment. But it reminds me, there was a story that was just posted. This one's by Anthony Gucciardi. The LAPD was caught in an intense armed standoff with the Call of Duty video game statue at the headquarters of the company that makes the Call of Duty video games. They had a statue of a guy with, uh, with a, a rifle, and the police, the LAPD, thought that that statue was uh, a threat to them. Now, isn't, isn't that a great metaphor for what they have the people doing? Mike, as, as you well know, in America, this is happening everywhere, is that they have spent decades systematically uh, changing the personality of the police force uh, and law enforcement. Uh, the, the, the old genuine uh, copper, the old genuine police officer who used a bit of common sense and, and thought he was there to serve the people or she was there to serve the people, they've been sifted out and sifted out and sifted out. Some of them still exist. It must be a nightmare uh, to, to work in the system as it is now. But uh, mo mo most of them have been sifted out. And, and so many of these narcissistic psychopaths have come in. Um, and this is why uh, YouTube is full of these uh, unbelievable uh, violent uh, scenes of uh, b b police upon uh, innocent people. Um, but they've also uh, used the training this, of course, this happens in the military all the time, to literally program the minds of, of law enforcement people who will um, allow their minds to, um, to fall for it. And, and what they've turned out are people who have no, no sense of looking at a situation and making a judgment on the circumstances. They, um, every time I see them symbolically, I see a big slot in their head and a rule book pushed in or a, or a, a, a microchip uh, pushed in. And, and it's basically, they find it impossible to make a decision 
by their own initiative. It's like they're robots. That's what they've been turned into. <laughs> sure. And then you see, you get these ridiculous stories. I know I've, I've, I've seen some on your site from time to time. You, you find them all over the place. These incredible stories where, you know, people... Uh, what was this one the other, the, the, that's been running the last few days? A, a, a young kid at school makes a, a, as an experiment. He goes off with a bit of a bang. And they arrest her for, for a, a, a destructive weapon. I mean, <laughs> only, only the mindless and... The brain dead could possibly react to, to hey pop tarts the shaped do, like guns, bubble guns because they're serving the system by doing so. Right? Yeah, yeah. You name it. It's 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 they've bought into the illusion at such a deep level that they can't see reality now, and and we've put them in charge of you know policing our society. It's quite frightening. Yeah, and you know if you look at society. Um, it's always been like this, but never more than now in terms of those that run it. It's completely inverted. You take anything that, you know, society sees as normal or, you know, to be desired or to be admired, and you've got to turn it absolutely on its head to, to see the real truth. <laughs> and it, it, I mean, I've said this before, if you're born into a madhouse, and basically the manipulation of the human perception uh, and the fact that absolute uh, clinical insane insane people have been running the, 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 the world for so long they have created a madhouse 